Hi guys, Stacy here. We grow again. I'm outside of my garden and I just want to show you how you can grow cucumbers, zucchini, so easy from seed. Um, I got some things going on. I started some cucumbers and zucchini a couple of weeks ago and I want to show you from seed up until this point what I've done. So these are the zucchini I'm growing. It's just dark green zucchini. They harvest in about 55 to 60 days. They get really big. Um, these are muncher cucumbers. They harvest really early. They harvest in about 45 days. I'm not growing them, but I am growing the heirloom. And this, these are just bush tight. They grow a little bit bushier and smaller than the regular cucumbers. These regular cucumbers can get up to eight feet sometimes. These only get up to about four. Um, but the harvest is a little, little later. It's 60 days. So um, I do have to wait another two weeks for harvest, but that's okay because they harvest and produce like crazy. I get a lot of high yield off of these heirloom cucumbers. Um, and one of the ways you can sow these is my paper towel germination method. Start them inside, um, keep them in a southern exposure for a good four hours of morning sun a day. You can either start them directly in a cup, plant them about an inch down, cover with soil, press down lightly, Make sure your soil is staying wet through the whole germination process, um, or you can start my paper towel method. I have a, a video on it that I did about a month ago. I'll try to post it below for you. And um, you can start them those two ways, but I keep these in a the morning sun four to six hours right off the bat. This way, you know, they do not have to be hardened off or acclimated too much, and it doesn't cause burning. These I started inside, and I just pulled them out here yesterday when I did that pepper video and you can see you no know, burning they're they're acclimating great and um you know they're in a full eight hours of sun right now from the four hours so you know they only got acclimated a day and they're going to be good now when you start cucumbers I sow these directly in the tote which is totally fine to do um they just sprout take a long time to sprout that way germinating them in the paper towel method starting in a styrofoam cup gives them the jump start they need um I put eggshells and magnesium in all my styrofoam cups for all my seedlings no matter what I'm growing um, you know even flowering plants like this one I start all my seedlings like that in that soil and I use a cocoa local potting mix which has really natural compost um, organic material in it natural bacteria bacillus which is a beneficial bacteria for your plants um, you know it just has so many different types of nutrients in it that I don't have to worry too much about nutrients. This one, this is a tomato, and I only give this guy nutrients once a week right now, and you can tell how sturdy, it's nice. Um, at this stage, you know, any zucchini, cucumber, tomato, whatever you're growing at that stage, and at this stage, you wanna start spraying them with a foliage spray of magnesium, it's just a teaspoon. Per gallon of water, put it in a sprayer, mix it around, it'll dilute that magnesium, and then hit them with a foliage spray once a week. I And then I water with a nutrient system. They should already be on an all-purpose body nutrients at full strength at this stage. And you want to do that once every week to once every two weeks. Now, tote gardening is going to be a lot more, you're going to need a lot more nutrients than in the ground. So, you know, my ground squash, that's a squash right there. And she's only getting nutrients maybe once every two weeks right now, once every 10 days. And that's it. Um, she was getting blight. I treated her. She's growing good. Now, zucchini and cucumbers grow so fast. These have been in my tote for a week. They've been transplanted about. And um, they got stunted a little bit because they started getting blight. And you can see, since I treated the past couple of days, they've just taken off. They're growing. Um, and that's what you want to see. Now, when they get that stage, you want to start tying them off to something and, you know, decide whether you want to grow them vertically or let them trellis out on the ground. Now, the reason why I don't let my plants trellis out on the ground, and you can see pretty much everything is in containers. We just find these containers and pots on the side of the road. My blueberry, that's my blackberry going nuts. This blackberry's grown so much since my last video, um, but I'm not doing that on Blackberry today. <laughs> That's one I found at the garbage. So you can, you you know, look around. And what you want to do is, at this stage, you really want to stake it off. Now, I put three stakes. I tied it together at the top with a zip tie, plant ties. And then I made a tie all the way around. And I went all the way around because I can lift these up now as my plant grows. I tied them all around the sticks. And as my plant grows, you can see... Look at that back, how it lifts. See, it lifts up. Now, you don't want it to where it's closed. 
you want it you want to give it room you want these leaves to breathe because that causes blight if not and bugs and you know all kinds of stuff so just make sure you got some room and I did this to keep them off the ground to keep all this dirt off this dirt is no good and would be a lot worse if I didn't have this on here I got to get in here and get get a lot of this off with a tissue or something this backsplash causes diseases and that's one of the reasons why I trellis up the second reason I trellis up is because you can see that I can grow quite a bit you know in one area this if I had it trellising on the ground this would be all taken over by one cucumber so now I can grow two vertically up and it's gonna grow up I'm gonna train it and then as this grows I will show you guys how to cut the bottom leaves off and train it to grow up as this progresses I'll show you the different stages so if you need help on anything that you're growing pumpkins cucumbers zucchinis beans corn, watermelon, um, tomatoes, I'm growing beets, radishes, lettuce, um, green beans, peas. I'm growing so much this year, so, you know, just stick with me if you want to see what I'm doing and how to take care of things, problems that go on in the garden, you know, that are constant. I love doing videos on because I love fixing things, and I love getting rid of the creepers, and these cucumbers are going to be beautiful. They're going to go up and over. So just remember, guys, you know, these I started on a full nutrient system because they're in the tote with these. Um, but that's the size you want to start giving them nutrients. You know, you want to wait till there's one or two sets of true leaves on them. These have a couple more, but, um, you know, these are true leaves. That, that first set is not that round set on the bottom. And then, you know, when they have the two sets, you can start giving them the nutrients. And you'll be good to go. Um, do that magnesium fuller spray once a week with it, and your plants will be happy. I do a preventative once a week with neem oil just because, um, you know, bugs and diseases tend to lurk around your garden, in your soil, around your soil. So, you know, I don't want that spreading. I don't want bugs getting to my plants because they destruct a plant in no time. So just remember, be out in your garden, check your plants, and if you're growing vertically, um, you know, stick with me so I can show you how to train this vertically up. It's not complicated. I'm going to TP this one just like I did the other one because it's at that size now where you should be. Um, you can see it has a couple sets now. So I'm going to do the same thing like I did to this guy. And it's going to just look nice and healthy and green. Um, you know, until next time, I hope that helps you growing cucumbers uh, from seeds the best way possible. I love doing these videos for you. I'll get a harvest off of these in about 60 days and I can't wait to show you guys. They're going to start growing really, really fast now. Um, they start taking off at this stage. So just make sure you're doing them, them nutrients once a week, once every two weeks when they need it and that magnesium fuller spray. And you guys should be giving them what they need. I even toss some eggshells in here too. When I get my totes ready, I put eggshells in here crushed up that were hard boiled and then I sprinkle them in, flip flip all my soil over and then that's when I plant my, my cucumbers and stuff. And I start my cups off the same way, my starter cups, like say I sowed this cucumber seed in here, you know, this this soil mix is my cocoa local potting mix, my eggshells and that magnesium and when you put that water in there, that magnesium will um, break down and give it the nutrients it needs. So until next time, I hope that helps you guys. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or video requests, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd love to show you some more things going on in my garden. Whatever you guys would like to see. Have a great day. Bye-bye.